हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल गेट जियोमेट्रिक्स इंजीनियरिंग प्लीज गो थ्रू आवर वीडियोस एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल टू सपोर्ट अस टुडे वी शाल स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज एरर्स एंड एक्यूरेसी इश्यूज ऑफ जीएनएसएस सो देयर आई हैव एनलिस्टेड ए वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ एरर यू कैन सी द सैटेलाइट क्लॉक एरर्स टू सिलेक्टिव अवेलेबिलिटी सो वी शाल डिस्कस ईच ऑफ दिस वन बाय वन so let us move to the next slide and this is the satellite clock error so in satellites we use the atomic clock uh, which is considered as 100% perfect clock and that is a costly uh, clock and that gives uh, perfect time uh, but uh, very accurate uh, clock that is atomic clock accumulate an 1 billionth of second every 3 hours error so you can uh, imagine if a satellite gives 1 second of error then that will cost 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter of error because we all know the speed of light it is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so if we multiply the speed of light with uh, time that will give the uh, distance so this error will be accumulated if there is 1 second of error so error should be very minimized and if there is 1 Uh, microsecond of error that will also give around 300 meter of error so uh, satellite clock should be precise otherwise there will be a huge amount of error involved in satellite positioning so let us move to the next type of error that is atmospheric error so if uh, the atmospheric uh, the satellite signal is coming in this way then it is refracted by the atmosphere and in the ionosphere there will be various ionized particle because of that the uh, electromagnetic radiation or signal will uh, refracted and in troposphere that is up to 70 km 50 to 70 km uh, that is refracted due to the humidity or uh, cloud for that reason in troposphere the uh, the signal the satellite signal is also refracted so these are all considered as atmospheric error the uh, ionospheric error and the tropospheric error both are considered as atmospheric error so let us move to the next slide that is signal multipath error so if the satellite uh, gnss receiver is here and it is taking the direct signal from the satellite the red one represent the direct signal and this is the indirect signal this signal is reflected by the reflected reflective surface that is some uh, in this case this is building that may be a canyon any reflective surface surface if it is reflected by any reflected surface and then come to the gnss receiver that will give an error so the uh, the the position will be taken as this one rather this one so uh, obviously you can see that this amount of error will be accumulated in uh, satellite positioning so this is called the signal multipath error because of the reflection of very buildings or any canyon or any type of ob reflective uh, reflective object so let us move to the next slide next type of error is receiver clock errors so as you all know the uh, atomic clock is costlier so it cannot be used in normal gnss receivers because everyone use the gnss receivers the satellite is once launched and it can give time for uh, 20 or 30 years of time but uh, receiver clock that should not be that precise but it it is also have to very precise it, it also give the very precise time it also have to give the very precise time so we use the normal quartz crystal clock for receiver clock and um, that is not equipped with atomic clock and this is sensitive to temperature uh, change and shock and vibration you all know but uh, in gnss receiver clock that is change after one year or after six months so it is not an issue so this type of error is also considered as one of the positioning error in satellite signal 
Another type of error is orbital or ephemeris error. You all know the almanic data and ephemeris data that gives us the orbital information. So, those type of error if there is any uh, problem in navigation or any broadcasting signal by the satellites, then this orbital or ephemeris error can be or uh, can occur uh, and uh, satellite do not follow the exact predicted orbit because of the gravitational pulls of earth so and uh, of moon and sun mainly uh, th uh, this will also create a few meters of error so let us move to the next type of error that is number of satellites so for 3d positioning in trilateration method i have explained why we need four number of satellites if the number of satellites is less than 4 then that will give uh, obviously that will give error in positioning because for 3d positioning we need at least 4 number of satellites so this number of satellites with the increase of number of satellites is if in case of 4 it is 6 or 8 then it will give a uh, very precise positioning so number of satellites also uh, cater some of the some amount of error so let us move to the next slide that is next type of error that is satellite geometry. Uh, satellite geometry is the one of the important aspect for positioning like if the satellites are too close to each other then two circle which will overlap with each other and if two circle overlaps then you will find that there are so many points they are intersecting like here you can see the satellites are closer to each other and there there are uh, four circles because there are one two three four satellites are there so there are four circles but those four circles are overlapping with each other so how can you determine one single point that is the position of the receiver or position of the gnss receiver you cannot determine right so because of that satellite geometry uh, that will cater some amount of error like here you can see this um, this is a certain distance the satellites are at a certain distance so the circles or the uh, are inter intersecting at one point so this is the genesis position position of the genesis receiver so uh, you can see that satellite geometry plays an important role for error uh, accumulating error in satellites uh, positioning selective ability i have already discussed with you selective ability or anti spoofing and uh, that is done by the us military and um, for that what happened i have also discussed one story in my first lecture video first or second lecture video and selective ability was turned off after may 2 2000 um, and it's currently not active uh, previously it was active so now this is not taken as as an error so let us move to the next slide now dilution of precision this is an important parameter to find out the error or precision precision of the satellite so precision is measured mainly by the standard deviation if we take x y z and time four parameters of satellites and we are accumulating for various time period the value of x y z and t and suppose we get 10 number of values for, uh, for 10 times we have measured the for, for various period of time we have measured and we have find out 10 uh, various x parameter y parameter z and t parameter then we have to average it average you all know that summation of x by n here n is 10 so by that we will uh, get the average of x y z and t uh, in same fashion like for this is this is x and for y this will be in uh, like that so after that we have to calculate the variance the variance will be calculated as um, summation of x i minus x bar this is this equal to x bar that is x average this whole square so this is variance and uh, you all know the standard deviation is nothing but the root over of variance so uh, if this this standard deviation actually cater the precision and from that the dilution of precision term is, has came so here you can see the gdop that is geometric dilution of precision for geometric dilution of precision we have to take the four parameters that is x y z and t 
so uh, that is the root over of standard deviation square plus uh, y x plus y plus z plus t and that is actually variance of x plus variance of y plus variance of z plus variance of t. So, this is uh, this gives us the GDOP and the TDOP is the is for time dilution of precision you can see that standard, uh, the square of the standard deviation is taken that is nothing but the standard deviation of uh, time and PDOP means positional dilution of precision for positioning you will know the x, y and z uh, parameters are taken. So, uh, that will give the positional dilution of precision. Horizontal dilution of precision you all know the x and y parameters are taken care of for horizontal dilution of precision and for vertical the z value or the elevation value that is taken care of for vertical dilution of precision. So, that you have to remember if any type of uh, numerical problem come to you. So, this is the covariance matrix and based on that this all are calculated. So, this is this is all about dilution of precision. So, let us move to the next slide. So, how these errors can be mitigated? So, you I have already discussed with you the differential G GPS and then RTK and precise point positioning using those techniques we can mitigate that errors. So, here the table of standard table of how dilution uh, differential GPS can be uh, can be used for mitigating errors like satellite clock errors that in using standard GPS it, it will give 1.5 meter of error, but, but using differential GPS it will give 0 meter of error. So, you have to remember this table this is important in exam point of view and that you can see here the receiver noise and multipath error that is not mitigated by the differential GPS, but rest of all are mitigated by the uh, differential GPS. So, here uh, this table you have you also have to remember that with the increase of DOP value the dilution of precision value you all know that if standard deviation uh, that means deviating from the mean value if mm, this is mean value and if the st uh, standard deviation increases standard deviation increases then obviously the precision will be less uh, and the standard deviation if the standard deviation will increase then precision will be less. So, that will uh, give a, that is given here as rating. So, if the standard deviation increases then DOP increases and with it the rating will decrease like for one DOP value you will get ideal rating and 2 to 4 that is excellent 4 to 6 that is good, for, but 8 to 20 that is fair and uh, greater than 20 that is taken as poor and greater than 50 that will taken as very poor. So, you have to remember these two things uh, for exam point of view that is very important. So, this is the sky, uh, sky plot. So, if you download any GNSS status uh, app uh, using your phone then you will find uh, this type of API uh, application programming interface uh, that is uh, this type of UI will get and you will get and how this is taken care of like I have already discussed with you uh, in my first lecture that how in celestial age uh, we ha we uh, calculate our position. So, here what happens if this is the satellite and if we project it here then this angle is taken as zenith and uh, zenith or azimuth this angle is taken as azimuth and this angle is taken as so if i uh, draw it here appropriately then you will find out this is the satellite this is the elevation angle and if we project it here then this angle will be the azimuth. So, here what is happening this is the 50 degree azimuth and these angles are representing the azimuth. So, this is 50 degree azimuth, but the 30 degree elevation this radial lines you can see that radial line this radial lines will uh, give you the elevation. So, here 
from from the center if you go away the the value of the radial line will decrease like this is 0 degree elevation and this is 30 degree elevation this is 60 degree elevation this radial line gives 60 degree elevation so if any point is there then that will give this is 50 degree azimuth and this is 30 degree elevation if any point is taken here that will give 80 degree azimuth you can get it this is 80 80 degree azimuth and 6 degree elevation because that line is somewhere between 0 degree and 10 degree so that's how we can measure the elevation and azimuth using sky plot uh, you can go to the app store and download any gnss stat uh, app and from that you we will get this type of picture and from that you can interpret that what is the azimuth and elevation of uh, gnss satellite so that's all about uh, gnss error accuracies and this is the last lecture of this playlist that is gnss playlist so that's all about in this video and thank you